All right, everybody, we want you to meet a guy named Najib Sawiris. He's an Egyptian multi-billionaire. He's decided to put half of his $5 billion fortune into cold, hard gold. Is that really a strategy for building sustained wealth? Let's bring in a guy who would know. Josh Jelinski is president of the Jelinski Advisory Group. And, and give us a sense right now of where you stand on something like Najib's theory that uh, half of his money, all of it, should go into gold. Yeah, 50% is a little much. 10 to 20%, maybe 50%. You know, to make a move like that, you have to have kahunas and conviction, which this man has no short supply of both. But I don't think it's a good financial planning move. Well, I want our viewers to look right now. Even as the Dow and the Nasdaq and the S&P are pretty much hitting session lows, gold is not spiking higher. It's not a flight to quality at the moment. No. So what is a good place for people to be putting their money right now at a time where a stronger dollar and the Federal Reserve weighing in today... Not saying much that was different, but the markets took it as such. Uh, and we've got red on the screen for the equities. We like companies that don't have a lot of debt service, companies with huge cash moats, also treasuries right now. We still believe that the, the overall stock market's a little overvalued. The bull market's very long in the tooth. We've had a bad three months. But I, I think right now, investors should realize that you should only have in the market what you're not willing to lose mm -hmm. over the next 10 years. Well, we I'm never that... willing to lose anything. Yeah, well, then you should maybe lighten up on your <laughs> equity positions. No. <laughs> I just think that if you put your money in great U.S. companies and sectors going through tougher times, you're not overpaying, but there's good opportunity. Right? Well, that didn't work out too well for people in 2000, 2002. I mean, GM was a good blue chip company. There really are no more blue chip companies left anymore. United Technologies isn't a good well, I mean, blue chip company. now, but, you know, yeah. long, you, you can't look long term mm -hmm. anymore. Companies change. I mean, Apple, you know, one bad launch of an iPhone away from doom. Right. But you like Amazon and you like Facebook. Yeah, I, I think Facebook with their new F8 co uh, conference is out. They got the 199 um, Oculus Rift goggles. I think when that can be used for business technology, similar to like a go-to-meeting, I think there's a lot of room to run there. I think the dating's hot. I think uh, also, how many people go on Facebook? People go on there every day. They're continually learning to monetize their users. And Facebook is moving higher today on news that perhaps that uh, Cambridge Analytica that got it into so much trouble, shutting its doors and going bankrupt.